Good morning, Team McCullough. Today is Monday, April 3rd, 2023, and we will now begin our day together with morning announcements. Please stand quietly and respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence to think about what we are going to do to make the McAuliffe School a safe and happy place for all students and staff. I hope that you all enjoyed your weekend and are ready to get back at it this week. We do have a birthday to celebrate today. It is Nevaeh's birthday up in room 205. Happy birthday, Nevaeh. I hope that you have a great day. We also have a staff birthday in the cafeteria. Miss Mary Beth is celebrating her birthday. Happy birthday to you too. Hope that you both have great days today. Looking at our National Days calendar, today is... National Paraprofessional Appreciation Day. That's right, today we get to recognize all of the great paraprofessionals that are in our building. And man, do we have some good for, good ones. Team McAuliffe is so lucky to have you. I saw a quote that's up here right now that kids count with you, but your teachers count on you. We could not do everything that we do at Team McCullough for our kids if it wasn't for the dedicated paraprofessionals who are in our classrooms each and every day. We'll get to celebrate some more during our appreciation week coming up after MCAS, but I just wanted to make sure to point out that today is National Paraprofessional Appreciation Day. Make sure that you thank the paras as you see them today. We need to check in with attendance land. And this week, it was third grade having the best week. They got four check marks and they are getting a pajama day. We have kindergarten, first grade, both getting two check marks, second and fourth coming in with three. Great job coming to school. Great job earning those checks and keeping your pieces moving. Now on Friday, we celebrated the hard work of all of Team McCulloch with our Superhero Day and are ready now for our third graders to go and show the state how great the McCulloch School is. It is MCAS for third grade. Everybody else in the building, please remember those tips that the McCulloch leaders gave us about being stars and how we can support the third graders. We will have silent transitions through the hallways today because there are people testing on each and every floor. So please keep that in mind as you are moving about the building today. Third graders, I know you got this. I'm pumped. I'm ready for you to take on this test. Um, and I know that you will do well. Remember all of those tips that were in the video that we talked about in our meeting that were given to you at the assembly. And I even got a video from one of our former students who wanted to cheer you on. Here's Hameen. Anyways, hi, I'm Hameem, and I'm a former student at the S. Krista McAuliffe Elementary School. And I know that your ELA MCAS is coming up, so I'm here to give you some strategies and some tips. So before we start, here's a handy dandy sticky note on the side that'll help us remember things. If you have a paper or if you don't, just listen carefully. Tip number one, the answer eliminator. So there's many ut utilities, and there, one of them is an answer eliminator. So if you come to a question that has many options, you can cross out the ones that does not make sense completely. That make that increases your chance of picking the right answer. Tip number two, reading the text two to three times. This will help you remember the text and it'll help you a lot during the MCAS. Tip number three, the open response question. Skip to the open response question and then see what it asks you. Keep that question in mind and then read the text. It'll help you answer the questions and write your essay or narrative. Tip number four, use your utilities. Don't lay around and use nothing. Use your utilities will help you a lot, trust me. Tip number five, just try your best. 
do the best you can and I'm sure you'll do great. I just took mine recently and it was super easy. Anyways, thank you for listening. Hameem signing out. Thank you, Hameem, and good luck, third graders. I'll be up and around checking in on you, but I know that you are going to do great. Just a couple of announcements for this week. Um, teachers, please go ahead and collect any uh, STEM camp uh, permission forms that were brought back for our April vacation STEM camp. Get those into Miss Carenti's box as soon as possible so we can notify parents of which students will be attending. Also, Wednesday is uh, Save at School with Jean d'Arc. They'll be in the lobby collecting deposits. Go ahead and bring those in if you have them. And then students, please uh, remind your parents that there is no school on Friday. It is Good Friday. And so we all get a day off. I think that's all of our announcements for today. Remember, McCullough students are stars. That means we strive to do our best. We take responsibility. We're always positive and kind, and we respect ourselves and others. If everybody remembers to be a star today, then we'll have a magnificent Monday. Have a great day, McCullough School.